Minecraft is by far the most popular video game of all time, but unfortunately, there are quite a few one-star reviews, you know, mix in the bunch. And today, we're turning a collection of five redstone-specific one-star rated Minecraft reviews and turning them into some absolutely wild redstone creations and contraptions. We've got everything from garbage disposal systems for people who think the Minecraft game is trash, on beneath the floor TNT launchers, to entertainment machines, to circuits, contraptions, and so much more. And if you're curious as to why I've built any of these, I can promise you that if you stick around, all will be explained. In any case, this is my 150 subscriber special, and if you're interested in Minecraft redstone creations taken through a unique lens on the internet, I would truly appreciate it if you could consider subscribing. And plus, you probably won't want to regret it with some of the upcoming videos I have planned. In any case, thank you so much for clicking on the video, and it's time for us to look into things. Alrighty, ladies and gents, our first redstone contraption, inspired by a one-star rating, is from Samantha, who gave a one-star rating on Mojang's official redstone handbook, stating that it was incredibly difficult to follow the handbook's directions in order to build an elevator. I can certainly agree with you that elevators are tricky things to build. However, on the Minecraft Emporium channel, we don't build elevators, we build TNT cannons. And on the Minecraft Emporium channel, we don't build regular TNT cannons, we build TNT cannons that are hidden beneath the floor. Because yes, by standing on this block at this position here and hitting a button all the way over there, the floor will be dropped out beneath you, water will be dispensed, TNT will be dispensed, and you'll be shot up into the air before the piston trapdoor closes straight beneath your feet so that you can land directly on top of it. If that is not worthy of a subscription hitting, I do not know what is. So please subscribe, of course, because this took over 10 times to build just because it kept getting blown up by the TNT. I'm not going to explain it too much in depth just because of how intricate and complex it actually is, but basically we have a ring of double piston extenders and then a whole bunch of dispensers to shoot out the TNT. We also have a really long pulse extender on the magenta blocks there to make sure that the TNT has enough time to explode. This is just something that is absolutely insane in my opinion. All you have to, all you have to do is hit that button right there. The floor will be dispensed. Look how insane this is and you'll be shot straight up into the stratosphere. Three, two, one, bang, up into the sky. Now that is absolutely insane. Our next comment comes from, let's see, who is it? It is from Peter K, who describes the Minecraft handbook as being very, very misleading when it comes to piston directions. And so to solve that, I have the piston direction swapper. This contraption here, whenever you press this stone button over here, will actually cycle between different piston head facing directions so that you can get the exact one for your everyday needs. For example, if this facing pi uh, piston isn't facing the right way, or it's very difficult, you can hit this button right here and it'll be swapped out using a piston feed tape with another piston direction so that you can use it within your redstone circuitry. Not exactly useful and a little bit bulky for what is for the simple thing it's actually doing, but all we have is yet another piston extender and a piston feed tape. Next up on our agenda for one star Minecraft reviews, we have a review from a 17 year old, if I remember correctly, who discusses the Minecraft game as a, as a whole, who states that no one above the age of two could possibly find enjoyment in the game. And although I'm sure he knows that he is wrong in that statement, I had a little think. What is a game that three-year-olds or four-year-olds might enjoy if they don't enjoy Minecraft? Well, that is, of course, Peekaboo. So by hitting this button here on the nose, we can, of course, pay play Peekaboo with the redstone contraption. In addition to that, we have some fireworks to, you know, further entertain the three-year-olds playing Minecraft. And not only that, we have a spinning system of lights just to keep people uh, entertained and intrigued. On the side here, we have a system of, of concrete powder launchers, which in themselves are very entrancing and very entertaining. And so if you are a three-year-old or anyone above that age, you could still enjoy the Minecraft game as a whole, not only by playing peekaboo with that chap over there, but also by the lights and sound satisfying concrete. Our next comment, and uh, not necessarily comment, but rather one star review, comes from someone saying that Minecraft will waste your life. And although I can't really disprove that, one thing I can prove to you from a redstone side is that all seven of the fundamental logic gates 
can be mimicked within Minecraft. By mimicked, I mean you can actually put these together to make a very, very functioning computer. Not only that, in addition to the fact that this is my redstone recreation, Minecraft is an art form, and so if you don't believe in certain forms of art, that's completely up to you. Additionally, there's also some aspect to do with redstone that has to do with compacting. For example, compacting all of this redstone build here, I believe, teaches you some fairly important skills, perhaps not with spatial reasoning, but more with just the fundamentals and trying to simplify things to your best capabilities. Lastly, on this more serious subject, Minecraft is could be considered a social game, and I don't exactly see you questioning the fact why people enjoy social media or why people enjoy text messaging each other, but you seem to take issue with the fact that people enjoy playing Minecraft with each other. Again, it's all different perspective, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's my Redstone recreation. Some of the more fancy uh, logic gates here are the XOR and OR gates and things, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Our last review for the entire day is probably one of my favorites, who says the redstone game is trash. And while I probably could take this from a professional perspective and say toss a few uh, items into a disposal system, I think there's something more fitting to do with your attitudes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take your attitude and I'm going to toss it onto a cactus just to destroy it, you know. But instead of destroying it, it's actually going to be placed inside of this dropper here. And I don't think destroying your attitude is something good enough. So I think I'm actually going to blow up your attitude with a piece of TNT. Not only that, your attitude is going to be dropped down into some ice and shot into some fire and dropped into the void because that is how bad your attitude is. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I truly do hope you enjoyed my 100 150th subscriber special. Altogether, these contraptions took about three hours to design, and so if you could consider smashing that like button, dropping your thoughts down below, and subscribing to the channel, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you have any more video suggestions or one-star reviews you'd like me to check out, leave them in the description down below, in the comment section down below, rather. And with that,